This is your March 2024 angelic message. So let's see what story is coming up for all of you. Make sure you're watching for your sun, moon, and rising. If you do not know what those signs are, you can go out there. Plenty of websites where you can put in your uh, time of birth, the location, and you can get all that information. You can also watch for your Venus sign too if you want. All right. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Tuning in here. Five of Gabriel. Okay. <laughs> kind of felt like something needs to come to a culmination. Something needs to be sorted, done. Yeah. King of Raphael, Knight of Raphael, Ace of Raphael. You better stop. Three of Michael. Okay, for some of you, this is only because we associate Raphael with the heart space, love. For some of you watching this, this is having to bring an end maybe to a relationship, maybe to a romantic partnership, or there's been some fighting. You're realizing it's not working, and in order for you to take the steps to sort of reclaim yourself and reclaim, dare I say, your heart you have to bring an ending to something okay um let's let's break that down now outside of love this is definitely okay we have Raphael in here obviously Raphael's coming in and saying you're realizing where you need to heal okay Raphael's healing but more than that it's sort of healing through what brings me to life? What feels like a day-to-day -day struggle? Where do I not feel appreciated or respected? You know, it's that kind of thing. If you've ever um, come up and you're, you know, let's say you're getting out there and you're dating or you're meeting new people just in friendships and you notice there's not a whole lot of effort, like you're making the effort, but they're not making an effort. You know, this is that kind of thing of saying, okay, I know my worth. I'm going to stand back from that okay it's protecting yourself emotionally it's protecting your heart space that is not the same thing as being paranoid uh suspicious okay <laughs> that's not what we're getting at here you're going through a process throughout this entire month where there, there's kind of the feeling here of i'm not going to take it anymore it's not worth the heartbreak Okay, and let's let's take these two. So we have five of Gabriel. This says a challenge you can resolve, withdraw from the drama of others. I was just saying, like, you can also do this with friendships or love partnerships or even colleagues. You know, if you're putting an effort into getting along with them, getting to know them, but they treat you like you're a bother, like stand back from that. <laughs> like you don't need to go into that battle. But this says have patience with yourself and those around you. So Coming into the beginning part of March, there's a message here from Gabriel saying something is a drain. Something is taking your life force energy. This could also be, Gabriel is about creativity. This could also be about a creative project that you have wanted to accomplish, not because you were inspired to do it, or it could be a job too, taking a job, not because you really wanted the job but because you like some sort of prestige behind it or because you like being able to say, I, compo I compose music. Even though you don't have a passion for that, you kind of know how to do it and so you do it. This, is, this feels like an internal battle. This is you battling yourself, okay? And then we have the three of Michael in this mix and it says, release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. This is giving midlife crisis a little bit for some of you, right? And I go through that too. Like I think I'm done and then it comes right back up. But there's having to let go of something because it's causing struggle. This could be if, if we're talking about another person. Again, yes, this could be. I'm not saying all of you are going to be breaking up out of your relationships. But definitely something has to be acknowledged. Something has to be admitted here. All right? Like the fighting isn't worth it. We're hurting each other. Um, this might be some competition too, where you finally back down and say, okay, you know what? It's not worth the fight. 
Now that could be a very hard thing for you guys out there. If you want a personal reading, go to angelsouls444.com. You can get more information on what's coming up here. If you want your March overview, 2024 overview, or if you have a specific situation that you want to address, you can get a standard reading over there. If you want a reading face-to-face -face with me, which is not a standard reading, but face-to-face -face over Zoom, I have limited spots. I'm not doing those so much anymore, but you can see if there's any availability by emailing me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I'm also teaching three courses, one-on-one -on -one over Zoom. One is how to read angel oracle cards. One is angel mediumship. That's a whole course series. And another course on how to connect with your angels. I go through one-on-one -on -one with you. We go right through the motions of what is blocking you from connecting with your guardian angels. We help clear that away right then and there. And I give you tools so that you can continue to practice. So if you want to look further into this standard readings, which are at angelsouls444.com, submit a form. There's no time scheduled there. I record it. I send to you, send it to you. Then the other ones, the live ones are via email. Okay. So as you are going through this internal struggle, there's a process going on here. And if we put the cards <laughs> in this order, you, you kind of come out of this situation in March here and you're, you're becoming the knight. All right. You're, you've, you've gotten used to being in a fight in, in a battle, right? And now you're, sorry, I have this big ring on. And when I put my hand down, it clunks on the table. Sorry. <laughs> so coming into this night of Raphael energy, it says romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective, committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. So you start, you're, you're taking steps in the right direction. Okay. You're, you're kind of, but you're still in battle mode is, is what I'm hearing. You're still in battle mode. It's like, okay, I'm not appreciating this job. I'm going to, I have a new job. Now, this is definitely showing like I, I have to leave something behind, but there's something even better opening up. And I do feel about, for some of you, it's going to be different for each individual, but for some of you, about the third week of March, there's an intense energy coming up. So that might be where some of you, depends on where you are. You do finally release and you say, I'm walking away from this situation. I'm going to go on and do something that makes me truly happy, but be careful. The knight is not the king. The knight makes mistakes, right? I mean, the king makes mistakes too, but um, the knight is still not as immature as the page, but he's he doesn't know everything, okay? <laughs> so that is the process. You are developing into the king, all right? Now this says, warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once, Follow your creative passions. Now, is this encouraging all of you to go out there, quit your day job, and then, you know, go off and start a new dance school or something? I don't know. <laughs> or you take up knitting full time. I mean, could that be a career for you? For some of you, sure. Absolutely, it could be. But do you see, this is this month of March for you guys, 2024. You can treat these as timeless. If you came across this, it's fine. There's always a message in there for you somewhere. But this feels more like it's time to me for me to get on the track of my soul's contract of learning how to open my heart again. Right now, you guys are clamped down. A lot of you are clamped down and for good reason, <laughs> for darn good reason. You know, did you get some conflict? Do you get backlash whenever you start expressing your opinion? Um, have you been heard that you're too much to take? You know, that sort of thing. Now, for a lot of you too, this is the month that you are softening up a little bit. Could this indicate um, a new love partnership coming in? Yes. Yes. But it's something that's emotionally fulfilling. So it's not going to be uh, lust. Okay. It's not that. <laughs> it's something that really lifts you up. Again, it's all about heart opening softening your heart, um, giving yourself a chance to have this emotional experience that for you guys is a, is a lot healthier than maybe what you had been through before. Now, this Ace of Raphael says a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. 
that's the thing here too. Raphael helps us get the messages of our heart. Okay. So overall, I feel like there's some beautiful emotional thing opening up for you guys over the course of this month, but it's going to take some work on your part. One, to be in a space of allowing, to allow it to happen, to not just be caught up in the logical mind that's saying, um, no, I've been burned before. I'm not going to go down this road again, or I'll believe it when I see it. I mean, I've definitely gotten into that space as well. But in order for this to happen, some, it's like you're breaking your own heart so that you can be emotionally healthy. So for some of you, if you are in a relationship, a romantic partnership, or even a friendship, or even family, you know, whoever, love comes in a lot of different forms, right? Um, you may have to break your own heart and separate from someone because it's just not healthy and you need to heal. You need to get on track here. The other part of this is following your intuition. Raphael can help you listen to your intuition. So does Metatron. But to help you listen to your intuition about, okay, it's time for the next chapter of my soul's contract. A lot of you are getting set up for this. It's the next round of lessons. It's the next round of adventure, right? <laughs> it can be adventure, uh, but you have to, you can't have your energy wasted. You have to be in this space where you can get prepped for this, all right? March can be a very fruitful time, very happy time it mixed with <laughs> a little bit of heartbreak in here but again it's not like oh look out like this is going to be a horrible month where everything just starts falling apart that's not what it feels like it feels like here here's the problem here's how it's making me feel but i have all these other potentials in front of me so it's clarity it's clarity knowing how to move on how knowing how to move forward but this might be, um, I don't know, uh, if you have, let's say you have a friend who you have continuously helped over and over and over again. And they're one of these people who they never want to help themselves. They just always want to lean on everybody else to sort of fawn over them. And then maybe you're the one who really is going through some massive heartbreak, right? Maybe you're feeling in a low space, but you don't feel like you can speak up and have any problems because this other person just expects you to always be there for them. Do you see what I'm saying? And you're kind of going, you know, this breaks my heart. I do care about this person, but I need to focus some of that love and care on myself. I got to take care of me. This person's not going to hear me. They're not going to take my problems seriously because they think their problems maybe are the only ones that exist, you know, like one of those types. And the freedom. The emotional freedom that comes out of this starts to energetically align you with different outcomes. This is where that new job could come in. This is where uh, a new realization, a new creative project, whatever it is that makes you feel expanded and healed, now it has room. It has room to come on in. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but there's that other part of it too. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we're just going to leave it there. Angelsouls444.com for a standard reading. I am sending you all so much love and take care.